What's up YouTube? Welcome back to the channel for the start of the bodywork on the Salvage 2013 Fiat 500 Abarth project. So before we get started, maybe you should ask yourself, do you like watching welding, paint, bodywork, mechanical work, on everything from rusty and crusty to nice and shiny, all performed by somebody whose shirt looks so dirty that it looks like it needs an oil change? If the answer is yes, then consider clicking the subscribe button because that's exactly what you're going to see here. Now previously in this really popular series on this Fiat 500 Abarth, you saw where I charged the AC system and we got it all taken care of, and now we can concentrate on the bodywork, which is the final step of this project. Now most of the body damage that occurred was on the hood and the right side past your door and those are the two areas that we're going to concentrate on today now i've got the ac blowing snowballs and there are a few other little maintenance issues that i want to take care of underneath the hood such as changing the oil uh, the air filter the spark plugs and we're going to put some brakes on this thing but we're going to save that for a future video but for now we're going to concentrate on the body work and starting off we're going to do something about this hood as you can see it's messed up pretty good there and we've got a replacement hood over here. It's a nice, uh, ugly green color, but not for long because I'm going to paint this thing and I'm going to jam it out. As you can see on the inside, it's like primer with some green overspray. That wouldn't look too good on a white car, I don't believe. So before we paint this thing, we need to get it on the car. So I'm going to go ahead and remove the old busted up hood here and we're going to get the green one on and see how it fits. So now the hood is on and as you can see it lines up pretty decently now these things were not perfect from the factory anyway but as you can see it lines up pretty good on the side and over here too lines up pretty good the gaps all look pretty good on both sides and up front you know we're going to replace that bumper cover and that'll straighten some of that out. We can make adjustments here and there and put shims in. But around the headlights, it even looks good. So now what we're going to do is we're going to take this hood off and we're going to clean it real well. And as you can see, there's some residue left from a decal. This was uh, off of a company car. So we're going to need to get that off. And then we can start prepping this thing and getting it ready to paint. So to degrease the bottom side of this hood to get it ready for paint, we're going to use this stuff right here. And this was sent over to me from the guys at Super Clean. Now this is a degreaser, and I'm going to use it straight up. You can dilute this. They recommend that you dilute it. I'm going to use it straight up because I'm not too concerned about the paint. It might take it off. It might not. Either way, you know, we're going to repaint it. So I want to try this stuff. This will be the first time I try this. I've used a comparable purple stuff with good results, and I expect the same from this. So the super clean did a pretty good job of getting off the grease now the way i like to do this kind of stuff is i like to spray it on and let it sit for a few minutes come back with a brush then maybe hose it off and then spray it again and then go back over it with a sponge like you saw me do and then rinse off the final time and you can see the results are pretty good so we're going to let this thing dry before we move on to the next step which will be scuffing so now that the hood is nice and dry it is time to scuff it and to do that i'm going to use this red scotch bright and I'm going to scuff the entire underside of this hood here. And then after I'm done with that, I'm going to come back, wipe it down with wax and grease remover. And then I'm going to lay down an epoxy primer. The 
hoods all wiped down and clean. Now let's take a look at the paint that we're going to be using. So the first step, we're going to lay down this Shoplon white epoxy primer. Now this is by PPG. <music> So it's been a while since I worked on this project and right here is where I left off. Now I painted this with epoxy primer and it looks really good. So I need to move on to the next step which is actually working on the other side which is this lovely green color. And as you can see there used to be a company decal there. I've got most of that off. It took a lot of work to get that adhesive off. It was kind of tough. So uh, I'm gonna go ahead and start sanding on this thing. I don't think there's really any areas that need any body work. We've got a little paint chip here, and I believe there's a chip here, and there's one there. We might be able to get away with uh, just sanding that and priming it, but we'll just have to see. Now I've got the hood all sanded down. Now I sanded it down in 400 grit, which is not really that abrasive, but I do have a couple issues. I got a couple little spots here and here and here, and there's a few other little like light scratches that I believe I can touch up with some putty and we don't have to go crazy bondo on this thing. It's pretty straight and so is the door. So now I'm gonna get the door and um, we're gonna start working on that too. And here's our replacement passenger door. Now I picked this thing up at the salvage yard and usually when you pick these things up at the salvage yard, they usually do have some kind of issues because they are a used part. And we do have some scrapes as you can see there. We've got one little tiny ding out here. We've got some rock chips on around the corner. But that's not really that big of a deal. Now I've already stripped this thing down because it would just be a lot easier than trying to tape it up. And this thing has been repainted before and it's not really the greatest. It's got a lot of orange peel in it. So we're going to take care of some of these issues. We're probably going to have to uh, do a little bit of filler work in some of these areas. But we're going to start off by going ahead and getting this thing sanded down. Now this is going to need a little bit more work than what the hood does. We're definitely going to have to do some filler work here. We've got some paint issues there too. Of course we've got our ding. We've got this area right here where the paint is flaking. So we might have to dig that out and try to work that area. And then we got our rock chips around the edge. So to fix these areas that I pointed out, I'm going to use some glazing putty and go over those. And then we're going to have to spot prime at least the edges and the areas that we worked but if you look at this you see this tape line somebody added here and you see around the handles this is not really the right way to paint a panel you want to take everything off or at least have you know your reveal moldings and all that stuff off and your handles off because if you don't you try to paint around them this is what it looks like and it leaves a raised edge now believe it or not this is not really that raised so I've sanded it down and I can get away with it. Now this is something you definitely don't want to do if you don't have to do it. I prefer to do it like you see here, not leave all the moldings and stuff on because it just, it just makes it nice and clean if you do it the way that I'm doing it here. And here you can see the hood. Now I've already done a little bit of body work to this thing and put some filler on there, right on that little chip area and our little scratches that we had here and there. Nothing too major. So the hood is all nice and smooth. Same thing over here on the door. We've got it all blocked down. Now, I had a few little areas right here. No big deal. And I've sanded these areas here. Did some filler work. 
around where they painted around the door handles and didn't take them off. So now after I do the body work on the fenders, I'm going to spot prime the hood and I'm going to prime the whole face of this door and spot prime the fenders and that way we can wet sand, block all this stuff down and it'll be ready to paint. With the filler work started, we're one step closer to making the body of this car straight once again. So until next time where we will continue to do the body work, I'd like to say thank you for watching. I'd like to thank Super Clean once again for sending over some product for me to try out. Be sure to check out all my videos on all my other projects. And if you're not subscribed, click the subscribe button, click the bell so you'll get the notifications. And you can also follow me on Facebook and Instagram.